guys, so before we start this review, I just want to say I pre-recorded this yesterday on New Year's Eve, um, and now I'm uploading it today on New Year's Day, so I just wanted to wish everyone a very happy New Year. Anyway, let's get started with today's review. Hello everybody, and welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2020 Color Changer Sheriff, who changes from red to black. Now this is the third Sheriff color changer, I believe. The first one was either a blue or a purple. Uh, the second one changed to sort of a, a greenish, tealish color. And now we have this one, which changes from red to black, which looks really cool. Definitely unique to have an all red Sheriff. Um, all of the previous Sheriff color changers, though, I believe have had his other color just be the standard black. Now, before I take a closer look at this guy, I want to remind you guys to vote in the poll link in the description for what car from my Christmas haul I should review first. So this year for my Christmas haul, which I'm still yet to review. Yes, I know tomorrow's January 1st. I'll get around to it. I'm going to, I'm going to start doing my Christmas haul reviews very soon. Um, but in each of those videos, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description for a poll where you guys can vote for which car you want me to review next. And whichever car gets the most votes will be the one I review in the haul next. I think it's pretty cool doing a unique thing here, having you guys basically pick the order in which I vote for cars. So the first poll with all of the options is still open. If you guys haven't voted for it yet, again, a link to that is in the description. But with all that out of the way, let's take a closer look at Sheriff here. Of course, you have your traditional artwork for Sheriff from the first Cars movie, except now he's edited so that part of him is red and he's being splashed with water. As I've said so many times now, I love that color changer packaging with the cold water there, the warm water there. Very nice updated color changers logo. We've got two in one, which I've always said is kind of a bit of a lie because it's not two cars in one, it's two colors in one. Uh, but whatever. See the water droplets there printed onto the name tag. Moving on to the back, cold water changes the color, warm water changes it back. Looking very nice with the black and the red. So now let's take this guy out of the package. Of course, we'll take a closer look at him, compare him to the regular Sheriff die cast, and then do the color change test. So the expression on the Sheriff is pretty different from the expression on regular Sheriff. Definitely, um, I want to say a bit uh, sleepier looking. But I think this expression has been used for Sheriff before. I want to say this was the face they uh, put on Sheriff's Christmas variants, and it also looks very similar to the expression used um, for his Precision Series variant. Of course, he is all plastic. You can see the difference between the expression on this one and the expression on Normal Sheriff. The Normal Sheriff looks a little bit taller as well. This guy definitely has lower eyelids and smaller eyes. Got the hood ornament there. The hood ornament of my original Sheriff is just completely scratched off. There's no silver paint left on, on this part of him. The paint's coming off the headlights. Basically, long story short, I should probably get a new Sheriff. Moving on to the side. Of course, we have Sheriff right in there. We've got his white wall tires. And the Radiator Springs Police badge there. Just for reference, there's the side of the um, normal sheriff, of course. Got the light and sirens up there. Moving on to the back, he's missing his antennas and he's also missing the writing that says sheriff. I'm not sure if that's just mine or if that's all of them, but that's definitely a really weird exclusion. I don't know why that's missing. That's really strange. His license plate, as per usual, reads 001 Carburetor County with a little sort of silhouette of the Radiator Cat Mountain. There's a look at his other side. And there is the base, very nicely detailed. Now, let's get some water and do the color change test. All right, so we have the warm and cold water. Once again, the warm water will be changing the sky to red and the cold water will be changing him back to black. So, let's test out that red water. Usually starts off slow at first, but look at that. Oh, that's crazy. It's so weird to have a fully red sheriff. That's really like a striking color change there. So now let's put him 
back to oh, it's taking a little bit. Come on. No, see, it's not. I don't think it's fully changed yet. There we go. Very nice. Back to his usual color. I did want to compare this after I fully submerged him in the cold water. Yeah, definitely a little bit lighter than um, the regular sheriff. So now let's dip him back in here. <laughs> Slowly change him back. Color changers, so glad they made a return this year. Wasn't really interested in them before this year, but I'm so glad that I picked these up because they really are pretty fun and they're pretty cool. I mean, I'm a collector, you know, having a lot of fun with these. I'm sure a younger kid is definitely going to have an absolute blast with them. So, let's see here. Let's make them two-face, as I like to say. Alright, you know what? He's sort of dripping over, but whatever. We'll leave it at that. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Once again, make sure to vote in the poll to let me know which car you want me to review first from my Christmas haul. I'll see you guys next time. I gotta put him down so I can snap my fingers. Bye now.